Football and celebrations go hand in hand. Footballers can't live without celebrating on and off the pitch, and sometimes they end up getting pretty wasted. Let's take a look at some of the stupidest things footballers have done while drunk. Number 1. Phil Foden and Mason Greenwood While on international duty with the Three Lions back in 2020, the pair decided to do one of the stupidest things you'll ever hear. They decided to invite two Icelandic women they'd been talking to on social media up to their hotel room while drunk. Primarily, this might not sound like such a bad idea, but remember what was going on in the world in 2020. The pair broke all kinds of quarantine rules and regulations, making Icelandic and English authorities very cross. They were subsequently sent home early, and it took Foden a while to get back in the England team. Well, we all know what happened to Greenwood. Number 2. Sergio Aguero You'd be excused for thinking that Aguero scored the winning goal in the World Cup final with how much he celebrated the win with the team. He was one of the team's biggest cheerleaders and even stayed with them for the entirety of the tournament. Turns out his celebrations got a little too much for even his longtime friend, Messi. Speaking to TYC Sports, he explained that he was drinking non-stop while barely eating, which made Messi angry with him. Anyone who's ever gotten drunk knows not eating while drinking is a recipe for disaster. But we reckon Aguero deserves a pass for whatever he ended up doing that night. It's not every day you become a world champion. Number 3. Kyle Walker Kyle Walker, on the other hand, decided that he may actually have too many clothes on while he was at a bar with friends. This was after City's 2-0 win over Newcastle recently, where the Englishman was caught by CCTV exposing himself. Worse, he did this in front of two women who he then decided to chat up afterwards. He is now currently under investigation by Cheshire Police and may face some very unwanted charges. We wonder what his father must be thinking, and by father, we mean Guardiola. Number 4. Nicholas Bentner Now let's cast our minds back to 2014. Manchester United was still considered a powerhouse team, Arsenal were in the Champions League, and Lord Bentner played for them. They had just been dumped out of the competition by Bayern Munich. Bentner did not play the game, but the loss seemed to hit him even worse than the players on the pitch who did, and he decided to unleash his fury on no other than a taxi. He reportedly whipped the taxi with his belt and told its driver, I will fuck you, as well as calling him a little bitch. The driver then decided to call the police, who had probably never seen a taxi get whipped. Number 5. Frank Lampard What the Englishman did was downright disgusting. The incident happened during 9-11 at Heathrow Airport, where Chelsea players were after their game had been suspended as a mark of respect for what was happening across the pond. Lampard and some of his friends decided to get drunk and come back to the hotel where they allegedly stripped, swore and vomited in front of US tourists stranded at Heathrow after flights were grounded following the attacks. Truly disgusting behaviour from Frank, which resulted in the loss of two weeks' pay that went to support victims of the attack. He got off easy if you ask us. Number 6. Harry Maguire The Manchester United defender got into quite a bit of trouble while on holiday in Greece. He apparently got rather drunk and was involved in a bar fight. Plain-clothed Greek officers soon surrounded the player and arrested him, to which he was very resistant, even going as far as reportedly trying to bribe them into letting him go. Maguire, though, claimed he was afraid that the officers were going to abduct him and that he was only fighting because two Albanian men injected his sister with a drug. Maybe a subtle reminder of his fighting skills may actually convince Ten Hag to give him a bit more time on the pitch. Number 7. Wayne Rooney The Englishman often got into trouble when he was drinking, and there were several of those moments in and even after his career. He admitted that he often drank to cope with the pressure that had been put on him. This often led to massive problems with his wife and even an arrest in the USA. Many of his cheating scandals have come about when he had a wild night out while in the States. He was charged for public intoxication and swearing as recently as 2019. The Englishman seems to be doing better these days, though. Number 8. Arda Turan While on loan at Istanbul Basaksehir, Turan was involved in what was almost a very tragic night out. At a nightclub, Turan had his eyes set on singer Burke Sahin's wife. This led to a fight between the two where Turan broke Sahin's nose. This resulted in the latter being taken to hospital for treatment. You might think that's where it ends, but that's only half the story. Turan then followed Sahin to hospital with a gun, where he apologised to him and offered him the chance to set things straight by shooting him. 
Sahin obviously declined and a frustrated Turan then fired the gun at the floor. This resulted in the footballer getting two and a half years jail time which was deferred so he didn't end up spending even a night in jail. But that's a true crime if you ask us. Number 9. Danny Drinkwater While on loan at Burnley, the footballer must have forgotten to follow the instructions given to him in his own name as he got too wasted and decided to try and seduce another footballer's girlfriend. This led to a scuffle which got him kicked out of the nightclub. Seeing an opportunity, Danny was jumped by as many as six people who attacked him with a blunt object and repeatedly stepped on his ankle, knowing it would interfere with his livelihood. Luckily, the damage wasn't too bad and he's still able to play. Maybe next time, Danny will consider doing what his name suggests. Number 10. Jack Grealish Where to begin with the Englishman? He sure knows how to party as has been seen through the years. From pictures of him passed out on the floor to insulting Almiron, Grealish has been involved in his fair share of drunken escapades in the past. He was even once rejected at the entrance of a bar for being too drunk. Going to Man City may just end up being a massive mistake as he will have even more reasons to celebrate. Well, there you have it, 10 of the stupidest things footballers have done while drunk. Do you know any other instances like this? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any new videos. We'll see you later. Bye.